getting the hang of it yet? Check your map, get packages from the back hatch, and be sure to park your van right back here at the office when you're done. Easy as pie. Providence Oaks. We're starting the day as we always do with a PO positive or pe Followed by the weather. Theo, positive or that P? Neil, what's it gonna be? It's a positive all the way, Jack. I went to Moe's Diner yesterday, and I don't think I've ever had blueberry pie that tasted so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you much, Dale. That makes me want to get a piece right now. Same handwriting as the one I delivered next door. I'm guessing party invitations? Welcome to the Flick Shack. How can I help you? Got a package for you, ma'am. Hold on. You're our new postal worker? Talk about not looking the part. <laughs> I could say the same thing about you. You could, but you'd be wrong. I look exactly like I own a video rental place. If you were looking to cast a movie and needed someone to play the owner of a video rental place, you'd attach a picture of me to the call sheet. <laughs> True enough. I'm Meredith, by the way. Meredith Weiss. Angie, Eastman. So, what brings you to Providence Oaks? Oh, grew up here, and now I'm back to do my dad a favor. Ah, I myself have been here for six years. And what brings you here? Didn't grow up here, came to do myself a favor. Hmm. Touché, Mrs. Eastman. Miss. 
So, how's business? It's... <laughs> it's booming. People in Providence Oaks sure like their movies. <laughs> I guess it's because there's not much else to do around here. Might as well watch a flick, right? Well, other than enjoy the scenery. Scenery schmeery. Why stare at a boring lake when you can go to outer space and watch the Death Star get blown up? Hmm, maybe I should watch more movies. Well, it was nice meeting you, Miss Eastman. Uh, call me Angie. And here, someone just returned this, and it should be right up your alley. The postman always rings twice? <laughs> My kind of humor. Well, I don't know anything else about you, Mrs. Temporary Postal Worker. <laughs> Miss. But touche, Angie. Alright, I'll check it out if I have the time. Take your time. This isn't exactly the most popular flick in the shack. And there's plenty of choice, regardless. Okay. Well, it was nice meeting you, Miss Angie. Same here, Miss Meredith. It's heavier than I thought. Commander Grace, we have established communication with ground control. How do you wish to proceed? Tell them we've landed the rocket. Ground control, we have landed the rocket. We will now begin our experiments. Um, package for the Evans family? Just a minute. Commander Grace, permission to explore? Permission granted. Yep, we're the Evans family. Could I just take that real quick? I'm kind of in the middle of a lunar landing. Sure, here you go. <laughs> nice helmet, by the way. Why, thank you. I actually modeled it on the Apollo 11 crew outfit. Wait, what? Meredith? Buzz Aldrin? <laughs> um, I'm sorry. Who are you? What? For real? Y you don't recognize your old best friend when you see her? Wait a minute. Kay? Great. And now I busted my colander. I knew opening the door in this thing was a bad idea. I'm sorry. I didn't recognize you with the colander thing. The helmet. Yeah, clearly. But it seems I'm not the only one who came in disguise. Got me there. You've lived in Providence Oaks all this time? Don't sound so surprised. But yes, I married Barry. Evans, I'm sure you remember our high school star quarterback. Mom! Be right there, Commander Grace! Scanning for alien life forms. That's my little scientist back there. She's crazy about space travel, as you may have guessed, even after the whole Challenger thing. You married Quarterberry and had kids? I had no idea. Well, obviously a lot can happen in 22 years, so. 
I guess so. So, I heard you were back in town for a while from Maureen. That's right. I ran into her yesterday at the diner. The kitchen caught fire, so your Uncle Stan is going to have a field day. Nope. It's Moe's diner now. Like I said, a lot of things happened while you were away. Also, I work there now. At the diner. Taking over the family business, eh? Let's compare notes. Yeah, we'll see. Ready for a liftoff! Listen, I'm sorry, but I don't really have time for this right now. Can't get stuck on the moon on my own, and I have to get ready for work. See you around, Em. <laughs> Good to see you, Kay. Evans! <laughs> Commander Grace, hold up! You'll never guess what I just found. You can say that again. dear! So glad you could come by! Oh, it's quite the emergency! What's wrong, Miss Jenkins? It's poor little Mortimer! <coughs> He's fallen ill, I think. One minute he was full of life, the next he, well, he just wasn't. He's almost catato- Sorry, heard it when I said it. <laughs> Please, Meredith, be a dear and take poor Mortimer to Mr. Mackey. He runs the bait shop by the lake. He'll know what to do. Sure, I'll get right on it. Here, little kitty, come on. Wonderful. Be nice to Meredith, Mortimer. Don't shed too much hair in her van now. Bye, Miss Jenkins. Bye, Meredith. See you soon, Mortimer.
Mom and Dad have new neighbors. Siegler, huh? Don't think they ever mentioned them. Where's the package? Hello, sir. Parcel for you. Um... I hope I'm not disturbing, but here's a parcel for you. One minute, I'm busy. If you could just accept the parcel and let me be on my way. Is that a parcel for me? Yes, sir. Oregon Trail Motel. You can just put it on the counter. to think our Spanner Dam was just as big and famous as Hoover Dam. Then I visited Hoover Dam.
Where's the package? Mr. Mackey, I know you're closed, but... What? I'm Meredith Weiss. Yeah, yeah, Meredith Weiss. Thomas, kid. I remember you running around the lake when you were yay high, getting into all sorts of trouble. What can I do you for? Mildred Jenkins tells me you know a lot about animals, and, well... Oh, hi there, little fellow. What's your name? Apparently it's Mortimer. Well, pleased to meet you, Mort. Hmm, he's a little sluggish. Has Millie been feeding him cupcakes again? Cupcakes? I hope not. <sighs> Leave him with me, I'll put him on a diet today. Maybe even catch him a fish if they're biting. With any luck, he should be up and running in the morning. Thank you, sir. By the way, how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. You go back to running around that lake, Miss Weiss. Okay. Bye, Mr. Mackey. Bye, Mortimer. thought. Here's the mail, ma'am. Ugh, one of those yellow parcels. Don't shoot the messenger. It's for that thing behind the door, a photography mini lab. They installed it last week and they want me to operate it. As if I don't have enough on my plate already. That's pretty nice, actually. I love photography. Some people think they can become professional photographers overnight. Well, photography can be just for fun, too, right? Look, if you want to take photographs, knock yourself out. They want me to practice with the mini lab before the service is officially offered. They sent me a practice kit with the camera and film. Really? I'd love to take pictures. The surroundings here are wonderful. Well, here you go, and good luck. Take some pictures and then return it to me. Have a nice day, ma'am.
Hmm, these look like bills. Here's your mail. Interesting. Lori, got some mail for you today. Oh, why, Miss W? Uh, yeah, thanks. Something on your mind? Oh, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. Are you sure? You seem out of it. It's just, Angie came by with a movie box and a couple of movies to watch. The Love Bug and A Nightmare on Elm Street. Oh, did she? I'm not surprised. 
and you're having trouble picking? Ugh, I don't. But if my parents catch me watching Elm Street, they'll drown me for a week. I wish they'd just take a chill pill and see that I'm basically an adult. I fix cars. Oh, no, that's too bad, Lori. Maybe you can watch it at a friend's house instead. No, I'm homeschooled. There aren't many teenagers here, as you may have noticed. So I don't really have any friends to watch it with. So it's a love bug for me. Tell you what, take the love bug now and we'll watch the horror movie at my place. Would Sunday work for you? What? Really? Yes, it would. That'd be wicked, Miss W. Of course. I'm always in for a good fright. So, see you Sunday? Totally. Thanks so much. Deal. Have a nice day. Okay, delivery for the diner. Hey, Meredith. Sure, just uh, put it on the counter, would you? Okay, about the other day. What about it? Why were you upset to see me? I don't know, maybe because you never replied, even though I wrote and called you? We're talking to each other now, right? Let's resolve this. Yeah. So. So... I talked to Maureen. Let me guess. You got a piece of Maureen's wisdom too, eh? Why doesn't that surprise me? That explains why she wanted me to take over today's shift, then. She told me about Uncle Stan. I'm so sorry. Thanks. It was a long time ago, but I appreciate it. It's not the same without him. I'm sorry I wasn't there for you and Maureen. That's kind of you to say, Meredith. I mean, I didn't contact you about it at the time, but then again, I had kind of given up by then. Honestly, I was so overwhelmed back then. With university, then work, you know. I get it. There's always a reason for things to go the way they do. <sighs> Thanks for understanding. Time marches on. What did Maureen always say about that again? One day you realize it's, it's marching, marching across, across your, your face. face. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, Mo. Some things never change. You say that like it's a good thing. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Em. It was good. To talk, I mean. You know. Yeah, it was. I have to get back to it, but see you around, maybe? I'm sure. See ya. Hello, sir. I reckon that's a parcel with my name on it. I reckon your name is Jack Reynolds? Indeed I am. And I reckon you're the new postal worker? I reckon you could say that. Well, thank you much. New around here, I reckon. People call me JR. I'm a farmer and DJ. I'm Meredith. Nice to meet you. DJ and farmer? That's a rare combo. Indeed it is, but it's a nice distraction from farming. I've seen better times. I had some spare time and a room in the shed, so I figured, why not? About your playlist. I think it could use some more songs. Indeed, indeed, working on that. But I'm in the middle of a potato harvest. Don't have much time. Hey, listen, postal worker Meredith, I need to get back to work. Can you do me a favor and give this envelope to Frank? Sure, no problem. Thank you so much. <laughs> 